Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing part six of my Swatch My Collection series. I asked last week um, what brand you wanted to see between Madame Glam and Zoya and almost every single person said Madame Glam. So I am showing you today five Madame Glam polishes. Next week I think I'm gonna do a color theme um, over the next two weeks that is. Um, so I'll do five and five. Um, but I might just integrate indie and mainstream into like the same videos. So if there are two colors that you want to see over the next two weeks swatched, let me know and I will do my best to accommodate. In the description box below, I will link Madame Glam's site as well as their Instagram page and I will link my Instagram page where I will have more swatches of these five polishes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first polish I'm going to talk to you about today is called Wine Divine and this is a berry wine red purple polish with like a purple pinky fuchsia shimmer running throughout it. It's had a really nice formula, easy to use, it dried very fast and very glossy. The shimmer does stand out really really nicely on your nails. This was completely opaque in two coats. This was the first Madame Glam polish that I have tried and I was very impressed. So in my swatch photo you are going to see two coats of Wine Divine and a glossy top coat. The next polish from Madame Glam that I wanted to talk to you about today is called Boss Lady and this is a dark vampy red cream polish. It's had a nice formula as well. It was very, very even to apply. It didn't give me kind of any like streaks or breast strokes or you know anything crazy like that. It wasn't like an uneven application. This is completely opaque in two coats. It is kind of that jelly-ish finish though so depending on like how yellow your nail line is if you paint your nails all the time like me. You may need three coats. I was totally fine on two coats with this, but it just might be something that you would need three coats for. This does also dry very fast and very glossy. So in my swatch photo, you are going to see two coats of Boss Lady and a glossy top coat. Next up from Madame Glam was my favorite from this week, and this is called First Prize. This is a bright, corally, orangey, pinky cream polish. Again, another fantastic formula, another one that dried very fast, very glossy. Really easy to use, totally even and opaque. I mean, it was just really fantastic. I didn't have any complaints on this. And it reminds me of like summer and the beach, and I'm so missing the beach. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of First Prize and a glossy top coat. Moving on, we have a couple glitters now. Um, the first glitter I'm going to talk to you about is called Vegas Baby. And this seems like it's in a light purple base. Um, and it's got a bunch of iridescent glitter as well as some micro glitter. Really, really pretty. And I feel like this one would look really nice over a purple as well. Um, I did try it over black. It was kind of too much. It didn't apply as even as I liked it to. Um, some places were just more thick than others, so I applied it over a white, and it was really nice. It tinted the white just a little bit. It's kind of like a light pinky tint to it, um, but I mean overall it was really nice. It uh, took one coat over white and a glossy top coat. It was a little bit difficult to remove because they are glitter. It didn't dry textured or anything, but it did dry just a little bit dull. So in my swatch photo, you are going to see one coat of Vegas Baby over a white base and a glossy top coat. And the last polish from Madame Glam is Do Me a Favor, and I put this over the Boss Lady, the red cream from this series. This is a full glitter polish with silver glitter, smaller pink fuchsia glitter, and micro blue glitter. So this is full glitter. You can get this full coverage. Um, I decided to layer it, though, because I really like how glitter looks over red creams, especially like those deep red creams. So I did want to put this over that red. If you wanted this completely opaque on its own, you may want to sponge it because two coats doesn't give full coverage, but three coats is very thick on your nails. This also looks really, really nice over a white polish. It's going to be a little bit difficult to remove because there is a ton of micro glitter in there, and it does dry just a little bit textured. So a good glitter eating top coat would be recommended. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see one coat of Do Me A Favor over Boss Lady and a glossy top coat.
And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these five polishes and Madame Glam. If you've tried anything else from them, let me know. Let me know what your favorite was from these five. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me, and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye.